In this video, we will learn how to craft as a new Guild Wars 2 End of Dragons legendary weapons step by step. We will craft as a pistol together right now, and at the end, I will show you exactly what will be different if you were to craft a different legendary weapon. All of the new legendary weapons require four components Gift of Jade Mastery, Draconic Tribute, the Precursor, and a Gift of Orin. The Gift of Jade Mastery and the Draconic Tribute are always the same for any End of Dragons legendary weapon, so we will start with them. I have other guides that explain in details how to get most of the materials we will mention as we go. So if you needed to learn more about any of them, check the links in the comments and description. For the Draconic Tribute, here is a list of the materials we will need. We have some dust, blood, totem and venom, clothes, bones, scales and fangs. For each one of those materials, you will need 50 of the tier 3 and tier 4, 250 of the tier 5, and 100 of the tier 6, and this will apply to all of them. And then we will need 50 crystal lodestones, destroyer lodestones, and corrupted lodestones, and 50 piles of petrude essence. And then we will need a total of 38 mystic clovers. To make it easier, without having to remember the name of each material, go to the material storage, and then in this tab where it says intermediate crafting materials, you will find all of them that we mentioned. This row will contain all of the tier 3 materials, this will be for tier 4, this is tier 5, and this is tier 6. So you will need 50 for each one in those two rows, and then 250 here, and then 100 in this one. And the lodestones can be found in the section right below it. And you will find the required lodestones and the pile of fruit essence side by side. They will be all together in the same row. Next, we will go to any weaponsmith or an artificer or a huntsman, and they need to be at least level 400. And we will craft a total of 8 gifts together. However, be very very careful while you are crafting and make sure that they are the correct gifts and the ones we will need will be all exotic. Any gift that is legendary, we are not going to need. So double check the name before you craft anything to avoid wasting a lot of materials. If you type gift here in the search bar, this should bring the options for you. And if you don't see the recipes on the station, talk to the Mystic Forge NPC and in the second tab, all the way down, you will see the recipes we will need and they will be very clear because they will be the only exotic ones. Each one of them will need 10 gold, so if you will do this for the first time, you need to buy all 8 of those gifts and that will cost a total of 80 gold. And another clue to confirm that you are crafting the correct gift, look at the amount of materials. We have 50 of the tier 3 and tier 4, 250 of the tier 5 and 100 of the tier 6. So we will start with gift of blood, Gift of Bones, Clothes, Dust, Fangs, and remember we will double check the name and if it's legendary we will not craft, so we will skip this one. And then we go for scale and I will confirm by the amount of materials, Totems, and Venom. Now that we are done crafting our gifts, we will go to a Mystic Fush and put them together. When we put Blood with Venom, Totem and Dust, this will give us the gift of Condensed Magic. And then the Scales with Fangs, Bones and Clothes, this will give us the gift of Condensed Might. And then we put together the Lodestones with the Pile of Fetrood Essence. And this will give us one amalgamated draconic lodestone. We will need a total of five, which is why we had 50 at the beginning. So we craft four more. And don't forget that now we have a refill button, so we can just click here and just put the same materials again. And you don't even have to click accept, you can just do refill and then forge. And now we have our 5 amalgamated draconic lodestones. Now we put the gift of condensed magic, might, and the 5 amalgamated draconic lodestones, all 3 that we just did together right now, with the 38 mystic clovers. And this will give us the draconic tribute. And this is one of the components needed for any of the generation 3 end of dragons legendary weapons. Next, we will start working on the gift of jade mastery. And here is a list of all the items we will need. We will need a hundred of the antique summoning stones. And this is an item we can buy directly from the trading post. Or if it was too expensive, there are a couple sources we can get them from. In Arbor Stone, a little northeast of the waypoint, you will find a vendor with this purple icon. 
When we talk to the NPC, you can buy a total of 5 antique summoning stones per week. Each one of the stone will need a different currency. One of them will require gold, the other will require karma, and then you will need imperial favor, which is a currency you get when you do events around end of dragon's maps, or if you didn't have enough, is in consuming those threats, which you also get when you are doing events in end of dragon maps, will give you 5 imperial favor each. To find them easily in the material storage tab, just type red in the search bar. Unusual coin is a currency you can get from the jade tech chests and underwater chests in all of End of Dragons maps. And I also have a separate guide for it where we talk about them in more details and how we can also use them to get some ritualist gear. Green profit shard is the currency you get when you do the new End of Dragons strike missions. As I buy them from the vendor right now, you will notice that those options will go away and they will only show up again on the weekly reset which happens on Monday. Monday. You will only be able to talk to the NPC and buy your weekly antique summoning stones if you have the globalization mastery in Arbor Stone. Another source for the antique summoning stones is the Dragon's End meta. When you do it successfully, you will get Dragon's End Hero's Choice chest, and one of the options will be the antique summoning stones. And the last source will be from the End of Dragon's Strike missions, but only if you do them successfully with the challenge mode enabled. Bloodstone Shard is an item you can buy from any Mystic Forge NPC for 200 Spirit Shards. And I have another guide that shows you in details how to get Spirit Shards if you want to learn more. Those 4 gifts are for each one of the new End of Dragons map. We have Satong Province, New Kining City, Echo Vault Forest and Dragon's End. You get them when you do map completion for each one of those End of Dragons maps. As for the Jade Rune Stones, we can buy them from the trading post, or we can find them as one of the possible rewards from any of the Jade Tech chests or underwater chests in all of End of Dragons maps. Chunk of Pure Jade can also be bought from the trading post, or you can mine it from those Jadeite veins, and those can be found pretty much everywhere in Dragon's End map, especially at the southern part here. We can also buy the chunk of Ancient Amber Great directly from the trading post, and if that was too expensive, there are few more sources we can get them from. If you talk to this NPC, Taru Everclaw, which can be found at the north part of Arborstone, you will find a tab called Daily Catch, and here it will require you to catch a specific fish, and when you do, come talk to the NPC again, and they will reward you with one chunk. Also from the same NPC, or from any other fishmonger, you can exchange 10 flawless fish fillet and get one chunk, and you can only do that a maximum of 5 times per day. To see this vendor or talk to them, you will need the local legend mastery which you can find in fishing. And whenever you catch any legendary fish and then consume it, you will get a guaranteed at least one chunk of ancient ambergris and sometimes also with it flawless fish fillet, which you can then use at the vendor as I showed you earlier to get even more chunks. Blessings of the Jade Empress can be bought from the Jade Vault vendor, which can be found at the Royal Court point of interest, west of the Monastery Waypoint, in the Satan province map. But if you talk to the vendor without finishing the weekly Jade Vault achievement, it will not let you buy anything. So to finish this achievement, just talk to the same NPC and you must have the statuettes with you in the inventory. Those four statuettes can be bought directly from the trading post. Just type Jade Statuette in the search bar and you should see all four of them. And you can also get them as a random drop from the Jade Tech chests and the underwater chests in all of End of Dragons maps. And then choose the second dialogue option and then go for Heal as a full set. And now you can buy items from her. This will also give you some bounty chests as extra rewards. Once you finish the achievement, you can now buy Blessing of the Jade Empress, which will cost 500 Imperial favor each. And we want to buy 7, so you will need a total of 3500. And I explained before where to get them from. Now that we have all the materials we need, we will go to the Mystic Forge, and we will put together the 4 gifts from the map completion. And this will give us the gift of cancer. And then we put the Jade Rune Stone with the blessings of the Jade Empress, with a chunk of pure jade and chunk of ancient amber grey. And this will give us a gift of the Dragon's Empire. And then we take the two gifts that we just made, put with a bloodstone shard and a hundred antique summoning stones. 
and this will give us a gift of Jade Mastery. You will have two blessings of the Jade Empress left over and you should save them because we will need it later. Now we will work on the gift of Urin. The name that will come after Urin will depend on the weapon you are crafting, but it will always contain gift of Urin at the beginning. Those materials you see in front of you will be always the same regardless of which weapon you are crafting. This component will be the only one different. Tale of Adventure is an item you can buy directly from the trading post and you get it as you do the end of Dragon's story and we will need a total of 10 of them. It is also an item that can be deposited into your material storage so check there first because you may already have some. Just go to the material storage and type tail in the search bar to see if you have any. The next item is called Lamp Lighter's Badge and we will need a total of 10 of them. You can buy it directly from the trading post or you get it from the chest of the Jade Explorer which is an item you get when you finish any of the Jade Lanterns achievements in any of the End of Dragons maps. And this achievement has no limit so you can keep repeating it over and over. There is one for each of the End of Dragons maps. When you open the chest you will get one Lamp Lighter badge and one gift for the map you did the achievement on. If you talk to any of the heart vendors on this map after you finish the heart, you can buy another lamplighter badge using the gift you just got. In Dragon's End map there are no hearts, but you will find those vendor with the imperial favor icon on their head. They will also sell you one lamplighter badge for one gift of Dragon's End. And there is one of those vendors very close to the spawn waypoint in Dragon's End map. Sheet of Premium Paper is an item you can only craft if you are a scribe and you can also buy it directly from the trading post. The other component we will need is different based on the weapon you will craft. In my case, it will be the Deldremor Steel Pistol Barrel which I can craft if I have a Huntsman level 500. I will leave a list in the description below of what component you will need for which legendary weapon. So if you are not sure, you can check that list. So now we put those four components together, the Tale of Adventure with Lamp Lighter Badge, Sheet of Premium Paper and the Force Weapon component that is different based on the legendary weapon you are crafting. And this will give us a palm based on again the weapon you are crafting, in my case it will be a pistol, so I got the palm of pistols. For the next item we will need 250 Exotic Essence of Luck. There are plenty of ways to get it, but one of the cheapest and easiest way is to salvage weapons and armor. So just to show you an example, I will open those unidentified gear together and then I will salvage with my rune crafter kit. And you will notice we got some essence of luck and of course other items. As you can see, the luck we got is not exotic, but you can upgrade any of the luck to exotic using an artificier even at level 0. That means even if you have a brand new character, even at level 2, you can talk to the artificier NPC and then please teach me to be an artificier and then I will open the artificing station and I will type luck in the search bar and I will see the recipes to upgrade my luck. As you can see, essence of luck exotic is one of them. So I can upgrade the fine to master and then the master to rare and then the rare to exotic. The other two components we need can be bought from any crafting vendor. The thermocatalytic reagent will need some liquid gold but the hydrocatalytic reagent will need research nodes. If you don't know how to get research nodes, I have another guide for it that explains this process in details. So now we put the luck with the other components we bought from the vendor and we will do that in the Mystic Forge and this will give us the gift of research. Next we will need to craft the cube of stabilized dark energy and you can do that from any crafting station except the chef and the scribe. You will need one ball of dark energy and 75 of the stabilizing matrix. Stabilizing matrix is an item you get while you are doing your daily fractals and I have a lot of fractal guides for beginners if you want to check them out. We get the ball of dark energy by salvaging ascended gear. You have a low chance of getting them from rings, accessories and back piece but you have a much higher chance by salvaging ascended weapons or armor. So if you have any extra chests for example that have armor or weapons that you don't need you can try to salvage them or if you have any extra trinkets that you don't need you can also try to salvage them. You will need an ascended salvage tool to be able to salvage any ascended gear. There are plenty of ways to get them but perhaps the easiest and the most common is by using the fractal relic currency with one gold from the buy 4373 vendor which you can find in the mistlock sanctuary or inside the fractals themselves and you can also buy it with one gold and one laurel from any laurel vendor. We will need 250 shards of glory 
You can buy them directly from the trading post and you will also find them in the daily PvP chests and also from most of the PvP reward tracks. We will also need 250 memories of battle and we can also buy them directly from the trading post or we can get them from most of the reward tracks in Waldus' Wall, and you will also get plenty of them as you progress through the skirmish reward track. Next, we will go to any Mystic Forge NPC, and in the first tab, you will see Gift of Glory and Gift of War, which will require the Charles of Glory and the Memories of Battle we just mentioned. We will also need 100 Mystic Rune Stones, and you can buy them from the same Mystic Forge NPC, and they will be slightly below the Gift of Glory and Gift of War. Each one will cost one one gold, so this will be a flat out cost of 100 gold. Next, we will need one Gift of Battle, and you will only get it by finishing the Gift of Battle reward track in Waldus' Vault. And you can do that by just doing Waldus' Vault normally, or you can progress the reward track using the potions of Waldus' Vault rewards. And to finish any reward track from the very beginning to the very end, you will need a total of 80 of those potions. And you will get those potions by finishing the Waldus' Vault dailies. So now we will go and put the cube with Gift of War, Gift of Glory and the Gift of Battle together in the Mystic Forge. And this will give us the Gift of the Mists. Now we will take these three items we just crafted before, Gift of the Mists with Gift of Research and the Foam on Pistols or in your case, depending on the weapon, it may be something different. And we will put it together with the 100 Mystic Rune Stones and we will do that in the Mystic Forge. And this will give us Gift of Orin, and then the other name will depend on the weapon you are crafting. In my case, I'm crafting a pistol, so it's called Gift of Orin's Argument. Next, we will talk about the Precursor. Fragment of Prismatic Light is one of the rewards that you will get as you do the Return Achievements, which will also give you at the very end a Legendary Amulet. Those achievements is something I have made a guide on, so you can go check if you want. Once you get this item, the Fragment of Prismatic Light, you can talk to Levi and look through his tabs and in one of them he will allow you to exchange this item for another box called Prismatic Precursor Selection Box. When you open this box, it will give you a selection of any precursor you want and you can only select one and you can only get this box once per account. You can find this NPC around the Crystal Cave in Setong Province and you will see this purple sword icon on them. It is not too far at all from the spawn waypoint, a village waypoint in Setong Province. You can just go there using your skiff or your skimmer. And of course, you can buy the precursor directly from the trading post if you want, but of course it will not be cheap. If you will craft the precursor, you will need to buy the recipe for it. You can do that from the same vendor we just mentioned. And you can see three tabs, Artificier, Huntsman and Weaponsmith. So depending on the weapon you will craft, it will require one of those stations and you will find the recipe in its tab. This will cost you 35,000 karma and 10 tail of adventure which we explained earlier where to get from. You can also get the same recipe for free from a box called Codex of Dragon's Weapons. And when we double click on it, it will allow you to choose one recipe. And you get this box when you finish the end of Dragon's story. And this box, just like the other one, can only be had once per account. To craft the precursor, you will need those materials. And those four components will be the only thing different between each precursor. We will need 10 globs of ectoplasm, 10 amalgamated gemstones. You can buy this item on the trading post. And you can get it as a choice from the hero choice chest in most of Heart of Thorns, Pass of Fire and End of Dragons metas. And you can get this chest from each one of those metas once per day. Eldritch Scroll is an item we can buy from the Mystic Forge NPC for 50 Spirit Shards. Hydrocatalytic Reagent can be bought from any crafting vendor for some research notes. Chunk of Pure Jade and Chunk of Petrified Echo Vault Resin can be both bought from the trading post. Memory of Orin is an item you can buy directly from the trading post. You can also get it as you do Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 in the Living World Season 3 and you will get it as you progress through the Living World Season 4. You can also get it as you do the Dragon's End meta, and the Dragon Fall meta, and the Dragon Storm meta. And we will need a hundred of those Memories of Orin. And the last two components can be crafted at the station where you will craft your precursor. In our case, we are doing a pistol, so this will be made at a Huntsman. Here is the first component, and here is the second component. 
and of course this will be different for you based on the legendary weapon you are crafting. Now we will craft an item called Transcendent Crystal and you will unlock the recipe for it as you unlock the recipe to craft the precursor so you can craft it from the same crafting station. Now we will craft two components needed for the precursor and you will also unlock the recipe for them as you unlock the recipe for the precursor from the vendor. To find them, just type in the search bar Fortified Precursor and you should see the results. So we will craft those two components now and this will be for the pistol. But in your case, based on your legendary weapon, it will be called something different. But it will always start with Fortified Precursor. And this is where we needed the two extra blessings of the Jade Empress. Now we have all the components we need to craft our Precursor. And to find the recipe, just type Dragons in the search bar and it should bring it up. Now we have all the four components we need for our legendary weapon. So we will just put them together in the Mystic Forge. And we have our legendary. This weapon is not account bound. You can sell it on the trading post if you want to make some profit. However, if you want to be able to use it on your own account and your own characters, you must right click and then add to legendary armory or equip. And this will bring a confirmation message. And now it is added to the account bound legendary armory and you can use it on all of your characters. If you found this guide helpful, please consider subscribing and leaving a like to support the channel and see more similar guides. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next guide.